welcome. Today something has happened that I have been waiting for it to happen in order to make this video for you. Today's video is also a requested one. You guys have been asking me how I unroll a shed and then how I keep them during the next couple of days in order for them to look uh, as nice as these sheds here I have in the background. It can be a bit difficult because within the first few hours after the snake has shed you really need to get a hold on it because otherwise it will simply dry out and when the shed is dry it can be a bit difficult to unroll it. The first snake that has shed today is Barnaby. Barnaby is my California king snake and this is his shed. As you can see it's quite quite long and Barnaby himself is also a long snake and the shed itself is almost dry up here. It has been a few hours since I've checked to them last because I've been away on a summer camp. So as you can hear it has quite the crunchy sound to them. That's how they sound when they're dry. Up in the other end here, I just unrolled this one. Don't worry, I have another one. It's a bit more soft. It's almost kind of gooey. I don't know if you can can kind of like get the feeling of it. I'm gonna close in as you can see it. All right, the shed is kind of, it's kind of like gooey and it's sticking to my fingers as well. You can see my fingers are getting a bit wet. So that's how a shed looks just after it, it I unrolled it. Also, it's pretty cool. You can see I got the full face with it as well. Barnaby's eye cast, so this is definitely the sign of a very 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 good shed. I'm definitely very very happy with this. Let's take a look at the snake whose uh, shed this belonged to. So here is Barnaby. As you can see she's looking absolutely gorgeous. Her colors are way way more vibrant than they were before. When they're going into shed they are they do get this dull kind of color and they become kind of kind of rough to touch as well but just after they shed they are very very soft to touch and they're colors are just magnificent. As you can see she's almost shining. She's really 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 gorgeous to touch and to look at. So this snake made that very very long shed you just saw. I'm gonna show you later on how I uh, lay them out to dry. Right now I'm just gonna put Barnaby back because I have another shed for you to look at. This is the next shed. This is from one of my bull python. This one is still very very wet. As you can see I have not yet unrolled it. This is also an incredibly healthy looking shed which means that she got it off in one big whole beautiful piece. Now that's a shed I really really like to look at. I'm gonna try and see if I can unroll it. It can be a bit tricky. You have to be really careful. Also what I can tell you is that um, if you get it while it's still a bit gooey it can smell a little bit. It's completely natural so don't worry about that. I'm gonna give you a closer look so you can actually see how I unroll it. Sometimes it goes very, very easily, like here. You can see I'm just basically just unrolling it. Sometimes little holes like this one does happen. It's not the sign of a bad shed. It's just because I'm not being being careful enough. So don't you worry about that if it does happen. It takes a little bit of practice, but it is basically very, very easy. You can see I'm just unrolling here. All right, let's see if we got the face. Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. The face is difficult. I wouldn't say it has anything to do with a good or bad shed. Sometimes you're just uh, just unlucky. It's based on luck if, whether you get the face or not. I got a little bit of the face, not like it wasn't not as perfect as with Barnaby's, but this is definitely looking good. All right, look at this, absolutely gorgeous. One big, very very long, beautiful piece. It's a little bit dry down the bottom here. If I pull in this, it will definitely break off. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. This piece is already dried out. It's not much to do about that, but the other part of the shed is looking absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. This one too is a little bit dry up here. All right, let's take a look at the girl who gave us this shed. All right, so this is Rowena. She's my purple passion ball python and she was the one who gave us this gorgeous looking shed. And just look at Rowena's color. She's looking so, so beautiful. Underneath here, at the same with the uh, with the Californian king snake, same with Barnaby, she's almost shining. And she as well is so, so soft to touch. She's really, really beautiful. I really have a thing for this girl. Rowena, thank you so much. Beautiful looking shed, darling. All right, let's get a move on and let's get these uh, shed placed in a way so that when they dry, they will look absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, so this is basically how I place my sheds. I lay them out almost as long as they are. It is okay if a little bit is hanging out the side, as you can see with Barnaby's here. A lot of it is hanging down the side, but it's only the, the front part of it that's, uh, that's wet. And that's the most important thing that you really need to lay out the way you want it to, because when it's drying during the night that's when uh, that's when you won't be able to 
to adjust it, if you can say it like that. So these sheds, they are gonna stay like this for the whole night and then tomorrow I will pick them up and I will put them wherever I want them to be. That's basically it. It's very, very simple. The only key thing you really need to remember is that you need to get the shed right after the snake uh, took it off, basically. It's okay if there is a few hours, as long as it does not dry up completely. What you can do is you can put it in a little bit of water just to help it uh, and, and then soak it a little bit and that will make it a bit easier for you to unroll it if it has become a little bit dry. After the shed has been drying for a couple of hours you will end up with a beautiful shed like this one. As you can hear this one is completely dry, it's gorgeous looking, does not smell anymore, no nothing, it's just completely dry and very very beautiful looking. So that's basically how you can take care of your sheds in order to have a big beautiful piece in the end. Alright guys, that's all for today, a quick video on how to manage your sheds, if you can say it like that. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate all of your comments and all of your requests, you guys are being so so nice and the channel is really really booming right now, I've said that in all the other videos and I still do because it's still true. Please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. It really does mean a lot to me. And while you're at it, just hit subscribe on that channel. As usual, you can find me on Instagram under the name Justice Jungle. Thank you guys for now and bye-bye.